It's day one of the big Here's New York Thursday trivia crossover, and I'm here today at Brooklyn Borough Hall, which I have to say looks absolutely beautiful this time of year, and also originally was City Hall for the city of Brooklyn. They use this now here, this is here, this here now land, federally landmark building. I can't, how do I words? They use this now federally landmark building from 1849 to 1898, and after the invocation of New York City, they used the offices of the Brooklyn Borough Presidency. Now the Borough Presidency is sort of a strange institution. At this point it's mostly a ceremonial role, often for politicians whose terms have run out in the city council or citywide office. And frankly, the most public Borough President by far is Brooklyn's Borough President, Marty Markowitz, who's served now almost th three terms. He's certainly not loved by everyone, and he's certainly not without flaws, but he's the most public of the Borough Presidents, going as far as going on to the Brooklyn Bridge, welcoming pedestrians back to Brooklyn during the um, during the blackout of 2003 and the transit strike of 2005. And again, it, the borough presidency at this point is mostly a ceremonial role, but it did have one major power over the years, the power of appointment. And also, it sat on one important board, which leads to, to today's question. What municipal budgeting organization abolished by the U.S. Supreme Court in 1990 included the borough presidents? Thursday trivia listeners, be sure to listen Thursday trivia listeners, be sure to watch. That's new for you. Thursday trivia listeners, be sure to watch every day this week and write your answers down or just remember them somehow because I'll be giving the answers on Saturday. And everyone else, I'll see you with question two tomorrow.